So Hero Pass making his tag think. Um, I think that's going to be a reminder to him to think while he's playing on mm -hmm. autopilot. Yeah, it makes a lot I don't of sense. Know. This should be a pretty good match, I think. I hope. Well, I'm, ex I'm excited to see what both players are going to bring to the table here. I am too. So right off the bat, Hero Puff just kind of letting him fully charge that neutral B. Um, I know that Hero Puff's going to try to play this super patiently, but that's still kind of questionable. You're giving him a really, really powerful attack right off the bat. Yeah. With um, the trade between the two, Donkey Kong's definitely going to win out in the damage aspect, but we can see him using the platform there to... Yep really get those combos in and Got bring it back. double fair off the uh, chain grabs. Oh, actually Ooh. grabs him out of the head back there. Yeah, that, that was a really good job. Goes for the up B, but that is not a true combo. Joe does punish it. Uh-oh. Uh -huh. Ding Dong's going to kill. 66% I think mm -hmm. he was somewhere around there. Yeah, that's just uh, with the, the first start of Rage, right? Uh, yes. You can see Donkey Kong smoking just a little bit. Smoking's bad, kids. Don't do it at home. Or you know what? Smoking might have been actually been... Uh, no, I was actually just going punch, my bad. Yeah, but... I think Rage starts around 70, question mark? I don't, I don't remember the exact number. I'm uh, sorry. I, th I think um, for the smallest man of Rage, I think it's around 36%. I, I know it starts somewhere around 35, but where it really becomes him. powerful is, you know, exactly right. around that 70%. Another Ding Dong at 76, even with the Rage, and a minute and 13 seconds, double Ding Dong. So, when I was playing Joe last night at Xanadu, um... He ding-donged me four times, and that was it. Like, I, I was doing all right, and he ding-donged me four times, and I cried a little bit. Yeah, I'm sure as a, as a DK main for him, <laughs> he knows exactly when to get those opportunities to come up. Okay, I was going to say, he's going to switch off Kirby. He was doing okay with some of the combos, but um, he's got to be moving around. got to be careful not to get grabbed. That's really what's killing him, and just figure out approach options. Yeah, I think... I know Kirby's downer is really good, and I'm not quite sure what answer DK might have out of shield if he's to come down on him with that. I mean, he might be able to swat him out using an, uh, his up tilt. I was going to say, up tilt's mm -hmm. probably the safest move out of that, mm -hmm. or even just shield it and pivot grab or something. Yeah, but we see Hero okay. Puff opting for a uh, flash stage for FD, so right. maybe now, this will help him out. Now, very smart there. He actually walked towards Average Joe at the beginning of the match, and even that pressure was enough to get Joe to stop charging the punch, and he got the down tilt, obviously. Um, so much better opening by Hero Puff here. DK does not have that punch fully charged at this point. He's definitely slowing down the pace of the battle right. compared to last match. And kind of like I mentioned, he's definitely going to want to play this uh, very patiently. Oh, does not get a punish there really. Gets some jabs, but good movement by Average Joe to avoid any uh, worse for punish. Nice little combo there. Joe gets some. Nice damage to bring back the percentages to yep. about even here. Quickly takes back the lead with that combo there. Pretty good stuff. There. And you can see Joe now spacing him out with uh, back airs. Also playing really patiently here. Um, I think Hero Puff's going to have to be a little bit more aggressive in this situation. Mm -hmm. Just because DK's can afford to play it patient because all he needs is one grab and that's it. Yeah, so, so as long as it keeps uh, stacking up that damage, we'll. S oh, Ooh. that might be it. Yep. Takes the first stock with the back air. Hero Puff can have to be careful also about recovering above stage because he's really vulnerable while he's doing it. Yeah, the options Donkey Kong has when he's trying to do that, either back air can try to up air him, you know, or even get a read with uh, his down air. Right. It's definitely be pretty tough for him. Well, another thing Joe likes to do that you see every once in a while, he'll jump out and throw out the down B, and if that hits, it spikes pretty good. Um, so you might look for that too while Hero Puff's recovering. All right, good pressure there by Hero Puff. Um, Joe does find the option to get out of it though. Punishes that up to a little too much rage. All right. Kirby definitely at kill percents for Donkey Kong, but I, like you said, too much rage. So I think he's probably I think it's past Ding Dong percentages now. More than likely, yeah. Um, he's gonna have to be really careful about back airs at this point. The back airs will eat him alive. It's it's funny. Uh, Joe told me that <laughs> he'll keep using the same thing against somebody until they're smart enough to punish it. And he's he's oh. always he's always told me that the back airs, you know, he'll just he'll throw them out until people wise up. That you know that short hop you can always throw out too. Right. So Hero Puff actually had a punish opportunity there. He power shielded the up smash, and he chose to jab. Um, oh, that's Ooh, that's, that's unfortunate. unfortunate. Yep. So two out of average Joe. Not bad by Hero, Hero Puff. He just had a couple of punish opportunities he didn't take advantage of as well. Um, except for him to yeah. go back and look at and improve. Mm -hmm. People can always improve.